So I just watched Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore. I watched it on the same day that I watched Morbius. So I was have I was not having a good day that day. And I watched it and it is the best out of the trilogy. With that being said, this franchise needs to end. First of all, this franchise has turned like ashamed of Fantastic Beasts. Like you look in the title, Fantastic Beasts is just really small in the top left corner. And with the way the third movie has played out here, it should really be called Dumbledore presents the secrets of Dumbledore and that's a more fitting title than Fantastic Beasts But whatever so I am not a fan of this franchise uh, Not one bit. I am a huge fan of Harry Potter That is a big part of my childhood and even some of the movies in that franchise that I don't care for that much There's still something you can kind of hold on to and still something Magical about that. Maybe that's the nostalgia kicking in. I'm sure that does have a lot to do with it But still I genuinely believe those movies are way better than Fantastic Beasts. Having said that I saw Fantastic Beasts the first one once in a theater and I remember thinking it was like decent like it was okay And I never watched the second one So I went back and I rewatched the first two before this movie the first one is so much worse than I remember It was just not fun. It was boring. I don't care about these beasts. The second one is borderline unwatchable. I was so confused. The story is so convoluted. The characters, I could not give less of a shit about. And here we have the third one. So we're looking good. And my complaints about this movie remains the same. Like I said, it, this is the best one out of the trilogy. Like for me, this is the best one. And I'll get to some of the positives. But you're in the fucking wizarding world. Huh? You are in Harry Potter. Okay? How... Does a movie with this much magic in it lack so much magic? Both in terms of actual like spells and shit and also the feeling of magic watching it. How is that possible? What, what a disgrace. This movie and really the franchise has been so dull and so boring and just the characters we don't care about and it feels like the people behind the camera don't care about. Newt Scamander gets lapped by Harry Potter so much. He gets lapped by him. He gets lapped by Ron Weasley, by fucking Neville. Like, Newt is not an interesting character. And it's not like Eddie Redmayne's fault, at least I don't think. Like, I don't have anything against him. It's just the character, just, like, he's, okay, he's... He's a, like a zoologist, you know, in the magic world or whatever. But all he does, he just like, oh, what did Dumbledore tell me to do? Okay, yeah, I'll do that. I'll go do what Dumbledore says. And whatever Dumbledore says, it's not even that cool. The only spell I see him use is Accio, okay? Like, he just, that's all he does. He just waves his wand, says Accio, lets the thing come to him. That's the only spell he uses. Can I get... Can I get some variation in the spells, huh? Can I get some of that? All right, Harry Potter had a wide range of spells, you know? Some people in this movie have a wide range of spells. And anytime I hear one of them say it, I hear one of them use a spell of part of me, just the serotonin boosts, okay? If you are in this Harry Potter world, it should not be hard for me to like this movie, okay? It should not be hard. And yet, here I am complaining on a Thursday morning to myself on a camera. What the fuck? Now, I really think the second one was so bad that they're kind of having to recover with the third one because there were so many plot lines and characters and stories that just did not, like the audience didn't care for and just didn't make sense in the second one. So I feel like they're trying to, you know, re recoup their losses on that one. But it's just, it's just kind of lame still. It is still kind of lame. Now it's clear that they really wanted to make Dumbledore like the lead of this movie and maybe that's where it switches because honestly, I don't know what else they could do with Newt because they've just, He's just fucking there now. And if that's the way they want to go, cool. I, you know, I'm actually fine with that. A young Dumbledore and like following him, that sounds interesting to me. When you're in this Harry Potter world, and I'm speaking for myself here, I don't care about the beasts that much. Like all the cool beasts in Harry Potter, they were not the main focus of it, okay? The dragon and Goblet of Fire, the Basilisk and Chamber of Secrets, like, they were part of a huge climactic scene, of course, but I mean, it was still about the actual characters, and I feel like Newt gets outshone by that freaking green stick character in his pocket. Like, I care more about him or her or whatever the pronoun of that animal is than Newt. Okay, so I kind of went off there. Uh, I kind of lost my mind a little bit. Um, it's just like this movie should be a slam dunk for me like it should be so easy for me to like this movie But I just I've fucking hated this franchise now having said that this is the best one Which is still not a high bar, but regardless it's a positive They tapped into something in the third act that actually made me feel a little bit 
of the magic, okay? In the third act, while still not great, I, I felt it. There are certain scenes in there where they're actually using their wands and fighting. And I was like, oh, wow. Like, thank you so much for, like, having a clever action scene where they're using their wands. And it's cool. There's some of that. There's an interesting-ish fight scene between Dumbledore and Grindelwald. I guess it's kind of interesting. Mads Mikkelsen is great. He is just a gift to this earth in terms of acting. And he steps in for, you know, he replaces Johnny Depp, which I'm certainly not going to get into. And uh, he's just fucking good. It's Mads Mikkelsen. Of course, he gives a good performance. So he's a highlight for me. Parts of the third act is a highlight for me. And I guess the ending is somewhat nice. The ending is somewhat nice. If they take this story in a whole different direction, but they do continue the franchise, I will be I will come in with at least higher expectations for the next one because I didn't hate how this one ended. But everything leading up to the third act, just no, no. No, it's still insane. Doesn't make sense. Still didn't really care. I went to the screening and there's a bunch of people dressed as, you know, in Harry Potter clothes and everything. There was like a part where they briefly turn up in Hogwarts. And this is no spoilers. Okay, it's in the trailer. But there's like, they briefly turn up in Hogwarts. And then like, I think like two or three people were like, woo, woo. And they like clap. But like, that was really it. Like, they just kind of showed Hogwarts. They did a couple things in some rooms and then they dipped. And it was like, oh. Okay, yeah, that was like a little little doggy treat for you Harry Potter fans there, I guess. And let me just say one more thing. This is a nitpick for me. This is not actual criticism because it's really stupid. This is just something for me. I understand like that thing where it's like you cast a spell, but you don't say it out loud. You just kind of in your head and it does its thing, right? I kind of like it when they say the actual spell, you know, like it's just kind of cool. Maybe because we're spoiled with, you know, Daniel Radcliffe and Ray Fiennes, you know, just fucking going off on those spells <laughs> but they don't do that a lot here it's all like silent casting you know with an exception of a you know fucking Akio from newt scamander and mads mickelson does something that is just a nitpick there just you know can we get some audible spells here because it sounds cool all right it sounds cool i don't know what rating i'm gonna give it right now but this this franchise is just it just makes me sad just makes me sad because it should be so much better but you know, I am a little bit hopeful, but still, this movie is so dull, so boring. I, I don't really care for watching it again. Uh, Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore. Slap a two and a half star on your bro, sorry. Well, 2022 has certainly been interesting for movies. It is certainly better than 2021, at least as of when I'm recording the movies that have come out versus last year, same date. Pretty good this year, looking good, but we'll see. And uh, J.K. Rowling wrote the screenplay, so uh, she need to stop. Please stop.